Welcome from the Eccentric Man. Uh, wasn't planning on doing another video, but a quick, uh, quick one for the Kickstarter that I took part in earlier in the year. It's um, called Up the Front, and it's by Any Scale Models. You can find some of their work uh, um, vehicles for sale on eBay. Uh, they were doing a Kickstarter for transports, and it was a uh, transports from a variety of uh, nations. But um, the ones that I particularly was interested in was the Italian and some of the British ones. So what I'll do is I'll go through each of the bags and we'll see what we come up. There was an option that you could um, buy some of the other bits and pieces that they had to add into your Kickstarter. So I did do a little bit of that. I got some jump off points uh, which are like uh, objective markers uh, and uh, I bought two British brick pill boxes. Uh, they were pretty cheap. Uh, and also an opal with the four light auto cannons on top. I can never remember the name of it, Flavoling or something like that. So I had one of those. Uh, any scale models, uh, some idea, they normally, uh, the vehicles normally sell for around uh, £13, uh, £13.50 mark. They're 156 scale uh, and are resin and a little bit of metal for the, the gun barrels. But I'll go through and you can have a look at what the vehicles are and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see together what sort of uh, material they're made of and what the casting's like. So first up is Kangaroo. Um, the the Kickstarter um, had various pledge levels and I went for one which had six vehicles and by the end of it you got the option to have uh, a bag of baggage for the tanks as well. So this is uh, the first one I went for which is the uh, Kangaroo. It's in four, six parts. You've got the main top part of the hull uh, which is half casting and then uh, you've got separate castings for each of the tracks and then you've got the main bulk of the tank body uh, so those two are going to have to stick together so you go on something like that and this is going to be need a bit of filing down I think and uh, making sure that I sort of get it to sit right equidistance so that the tracks go in okay but that's a kangaroo uh, pretty basic castings uh, it's got the detail on them Oops. so should paint up okay we'll have a look and see how that uh, will go together so next up I think it's a, a Humber Humber what I'm not quite sure let's see what it tells me what it is Humber so something for the officers to drive around in I think a little bit of resin splot on the top there, that'll just uh, hopefully uh, come off. That's the base of it, so it's just a resin block with the details cast into the mould. Wheels are resin and they'll just glue in. So I'm going to have to do a bit of filing down just to stop the wheel sticking out so if you can see just down on that angle it sticks out a little bit where the wheel sticks on so humber next up is the uh, Bedford truck I haven't glued it yet I'll just sort of dry fitted it together uh, so you've got the different parts, you've got two two wheels that need to be stuck together, the body just fits into a gap onto there, you've got the uh, outside bit, and then you've got the canopy that goes over the top. So yeah, three different bits, of, three different types of resin, you've got the green, the white of the vehicles, even possibly four. 
because these two types look slightly different and then you've got a more plasticky uh, plasticky type um, flatbed to it and then the cowling goes over the top so that's the, uh, the Bedford just to show that the cab just about see the door and the windows etched in well actually raised from the surface to give that detail pretty simple just wondering if the, uh, the detail is sufficiently pronounced on the truck side for the windows and the doors Next up, I think this is the British CMP. No, it's not. It's the uh, German flavouring. This one wasn't actually part of the uh, the Kickstarter. I bought this uh, additional. What it doesn't have is the gun shield. So here it is with all the bits. Uh, it's got a flat bed opened up so that you can put the uh, gun carriage on, the uh, the rotating carriage. Not quite sure how it's going to fit onto these, but you've got the gun there, the the, uh, the two there, and they're going to obviously stick together in some way. Whether it's like that, don't know how that would fit onto to here. Oh, excuse me, yawning. Uh, very late night. Um, stayed up to about half past four in the morning watching the results come in for the UK election. So, uh, starting to feel a little bit jaded uh, at the moment. So, that's the, uh, the Opal truck with the four light auto cannons. And as you see, the, uh, the, the casting is simple. I'm hoping that once uh, it gets the undercoat on and you can paint it up and you can put in some of the details along with the weathering. These are going to need a good wash to clean it all up and to get it prepared for painting. So here's the CMP, uh, it's uh, together in one, two, three, four pieces. Uh, the green is slightly rough uh, to feel, the the white one is much more um, smooth, uh, a more plasticky type uh, resin. But as you can see this one is a bit, little bit warped. So a bit of hot water submerged and then straightened up and that should be okay. It's just what you get sometimes with resins, uh, so a bit of hot water should be able to uh, put it right. So what we have here is the Italian Scudato which is a armoured vehicle uh, open topped. So again, it comes in four or well, five pieces. You've got the main vehicle body, crew compartment, bit that fits in, and then you've got two little screens for the front of the vehicle. They were used to protect the front engine grill. So I've got two of those for the Italians. So obviously, for uh, if I'm doing a tank war and I want two uh, two transport vehicles, 
But I can have them uh, armoured plus seven, open top though. So, two brick pillboxes for the UK or in defence of England. Just block standard. No uh, roof that comes off. A door. That's something that you see quite frequently in the UK landscape. The pillboxes scattered about at road junctions, uh, key points, and lighthouses, all different things where they might need to put some people in with a bit of protection. Last couple of bits. Uh, this is the uh, free add on. So you got bits and pieces of storage. Boxes, tarpaulins, one barrel there. So a few little bits and pieces just to uh, put on your tanks. And then uh, the last bit of it is the Jumping off points. Uh, I mean, I think they're made for chain of command, but uh, I thought I'd get them to have a little look, see what they were like, and see whether I can use them for uh, objective markers. So there you go, a couple of them, four of those, and they act as your uh, jump off markers for chain of command. Or I think just some terrain objectives or a little scenario objectives for the, the main bolt action rules. But I'll put them on slightly bigger bases uh, so I can do a little bit more scenic uh, work on the bottom of those once they're painted up. Again it's the, uh, the, the, the green resin uh, and that uh, seems to be a thicker and coarser resin but we'll see what it's like when it paints up. So I put the two Scudatos together and stuck the uh, engine protection grills over the front and gave them a good wash to get any of the resin release mould or mould release, that's better, mould release from the vehicles prior to painting them. So I did that and then I used a Halford Grey acrylic uh, primer and gave them a spray. Having sprayed them, what became very obvious was the air bubbles in the resin castings. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like in the rest of the vehicles or the models, but in the Scudato cabs uh, you can see here the, uh, the pox marking from the, uh, the air bubbles. And that was replicated on the other side of the cab, uh, a little bit on the front of the cab, and also on top of the cab as well. So a little bit disappointing to see the uh, the extent of the air bubbles uh, on the, the vehicle. So uh, I went back and used a fine filler to put the into the holes and then rub it down with some very fine uh, sandpaper. Uh, and then gave it another spray. Uh, that did help, and um, they've come up reasonably okay after that. But I'm going to have to go back uh, and have a look at all the models which I haven't put together yet, and very closely check the components to see what the bubble markings are like. Uh, as I say, pretty pronounced in this, uh, so it was a little bit disappointing on that. So um, I've sprayed them up, and I've got the primer on them and I've given their first sort of coats uh, that come up and uh, they're not looking too bad uh, so we'll uh, have a look at those and uh, progress on so as you can see I've done the uh, the primer and the undulation coats on them prior to putting on their actual uh, colors which will be the Vallejo Desert yellow uh, that comes up quite nice with them, gives it a slightly darker tone of the yellow 
uh, and that's what I've used for my Italian army. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of L640s at the front and a little uh, C33. Uh, so that's that. Uh, what would I say with regards to the models? A uh, little bit disappointing, uh, really. However, if you're working on a budget and you're quite willing to put a little bit of work in, uh, you can't go wrong. £13 for a vehicle uh, is not bad at all. Or you can't find them anywhere else, which you can't do for the Scudato. Uh, you're stuck with what you can get, and uh, after a bit of work, painting up, they should look tabletop standard and reasonable. Um, if I wanted a showcase army, wouldn't go for these, I don't think. No, uh, I'll wait for uh, Rubicon's vehicles to come out and uh, pick up others from uh, Blitzkrieg miniatures or um, Warlord games. Uh, they are a little bit uh, rough and ready and as I say, you pay your money, you take your chance, choice. Uh, if you're working on a budget, want to put the work in, these would be okay. So thanks very much for watching and uh, keep viewing for more pictures. You'll probably see them coming up once I've uh, painted them up and uh, got them ready. Uh, if Like if you do, uh, subscribe if you wish and share on with your friends if you think they'll be interested. So thanks very much once again for watching and see you soon.